Transitioning now to the NFC, fresh off a of bye week, the 13-3 Green Bay Packers hosts the Los Angeles Rams in the frozen tundra. This is the 34th time that the Packers find themselves in the postseason, more than any other team in NFL history. As for the Rams, it was the resiliency of Jared Goff that contributed to their win over the Seattle Seahawks. That upset victory going into Seattle to top off the 12-4 Seahawks. Uh, this, this Rams team looked efficient last week. I'm not going to say that they looked great on offense because they didn't. Yeah, maybe Cam Akers had 176 scrimmage yards and he looked great in the run game, but this offense and passing game as well, uh, for the past, it seems like two, three weeks at least, Jared Goff, this passing game, has not been the best. But instead, they have been efficient. And I know that a lot of that can be uh, attributed to the thumb injury of Jared Goff, and hopefully this week will be a different story. But I don't know if you want to go into it with a mentality of, okay, we have to give Jared Goff uh, all the reins and have him just duel it out back and forth with Aaron Rodgers. That's not going to do it against this tough Green Bay team. Instead, for this Rams team, you have to look at the thumb injury that Jared Goff has. You have to look at the way that they've been playing the last two, three weeks. Even though they haven't been looking that great, they've still been able to pick up the victories. And that's because of the defense and being efficient on offense. For the Green Bay Packers, their offense, they're ranked 11th in the passing game and 8th in rushing. So pretty freaking good offense, as we know. No surprise right there. Their defense, you may not believe it, but they're 7th against the pass, 13th against the rush. And we say you may not believe it because it seems like they were giving up big plays after big plays to a lot of different teams in the NFL, both in the passing game and in the run game, especially in the run game. But this defense is actually much better as far as st statistics go than we give them credit for. So if you're the Rams, how can you pick up this victory against a tough Green Bay Packers team? Well, let's look at the keys to victory for the LA Rams. Play additional defensive backs to stop the pass. We already know that Jalen Ramsey versus Devontae Adams is going to be a sight to see. That's going to be a good matchup. But you have to stop the other uh, targets for Green Bay, given that Jalen Ramsey is going to line up with Devontae Adams. You know that Aaron Rodgers likes to throw it to Robert Tunyon. You know that he likes to throw it to MVS on the deep route. You have to play additional defensive backs because you can trust that Rams defensive line and that front seven to stop the run game. Instead, let's just keep it a, a front six. Take a linebacker out, put an additional defensive back so you can stop that passing game of Aaron Rodgers. And then two, as far as the Rams' offense goes, Cam Akers is the best bet on offense. Listen, efficiency is key. Time of possession is great. Jared Goff can just dink and dunk like he did last week to Cooper Cup or Robert Woods and just complete short passes and let them do all the work with their with their yards after the catch. But Cam Akers, with 176 scrimmage yards last week, has really developed into that, uh, uh, that top running back in L.A., their 10th-ranked rushing offense. Cam Akers is going to be the best bet against this Green Bay Packers defense that has given up some big plays this season to the run game. For the Packers, how do you stop the L.A. Rams and get a victory to advance to the NFC Championship? Rely on other targets besides Devontae Adams. We just talked about Jalen Ramsey. We talked about that this is the potential for Devontae Adams to get locked up. Maybe only get like four, five, six receptions or so in this game. Don't be surprised if that happens. You have to rely on other targets like MVS or Robert Tunyon to do their dirty work and get you down the field. And number two, keep the Rams offense off the field. We talked about efficiency. We talked about how dangerous they are in that game and dinking and dunking, short yardage, and running with the ball as well. You don't want that to happen. You want to keep the Rams offense off the field and give the ball to Aaron Rodgers as much time as possible because if you keep the Rams offense on the field, even though they're, even though they're not quote-unquote dangerous, they can still move the chains and just run off a lot of time on that clock. So keep that Rams offense off the field and try to give the Packers offense the ball. This is going to be a good, exciting NFC matchup. Who do you guys have winning this game? Do you guys have the Rams advancing to the NFC Championship or maybe even the Green Bay Packers led by MVP favorite Aaron Rodgers? Comment down below with your predictions.